Okay, it is the one and only Ronan the Traveler. Man, shout out to all you brothers rocking out with the channel. And a special shout out to all the brothers who are joining the channel membership. Man, it means a lot to me. It means that you care about the content and you want to help it grow, man. So I appreciate you guys. Look, man, we'll get into a story time today about myself a little bit because brothers said man you put dominican republic on a pedestal is it really that good yes man dominican republic changed my life let me tell you man i was in a bad spot i'm gonna get a little personal man let me tell you um i had reached the so-called american dream two or three times in my life but this last time i was making over a hundred thousand dollars easy i figured out the plan and uh let me tell you guys just before we even get started man Here's some book because people always ask me what I did. I started reading, man. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I read uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. You hear people talk about this. Miyamoto Masashi, The Five Rings, uh, The Art of War. I got all these books, man. I read them twice and it definitely helped me in my worst times. So we're going to get into those worst times, man. You know, many of us, man, we grew up with PTSD. You think that's just a military term, man, but that's somebody who done went through trauma, man. You done seen things. A lot of us come in and come up in these bad environments in the hoods and the ghettos or the trailer park or wherever you come up at. We usually come in up substandard in many ways. So you carry this along, not to mention, man, the racism, the court system, the how the women are, uh, are treated better than us. You go to court. The family court judge will destroy you. You're paying all this child support. It's not even your fault because most of the time women filing for divorce. So I had all this on my back, man. I'm telling you, man, I was so depressed, man. In Louisiana, my typical day was pretty much bleak, man. I would go to work and come home, rinse and repeat. I felt like I was on a hamster wheel, man, which only deepened my depression. And the dating scene in the United States was tough, adding to the feeling the isolation because let me tell you what happened to me man um i was able to date up you know a lot of people date down but because i was making such good money i had a nice uh i built myself up to have a four bedroom house on a lake and look this is when i say built myself up i don't slept on benches i slept in my car i lost everything a couple of times due to court and women and all this stuff but listen I started going on date with professional women, man. You hear me talk about the doctor I dated. I met lawyers, teachers, principals, everything. But what I started finding, man, that these women were feminist in their core and I just didn't interact with them well. I wanted something more traditional. And look, I started getting into the dating scene going more and more. They this one, they this one, and they this one, they this one, and, and nothing got better. When I tell you these women were feminists, they were feminists. I can count on all my dates that only one woman cooked anything for me. And she was the doctor. But she had a problem with her kid. All the women had kids, everything. So I just was like tired. I said, like, man, you know what? I'm going to walk away from this, this dating scene. I don't want to do it anymore. And I would just sit in the house. And you hear me <laughs> tell you guys, man, get off the couch big Shirley. But look, it's deeper than that. Because, and I tell you guys, y'all be sitting in there listening to Anita Baker. But I went through that, man. That's why I can, that's why we we mesh good me and the brothers because i'm telling you things i went through man i would come home so depressed man and i would sit there and listen to my jazz and, and drink my johnny walker and look at tv and felt trapped and the, until one day man one of my boys was like hey man let's make that trip man let's go somewhere and they they decided on santo domingo and even though these guys didn't go they didn't show up i showed up and when i landed in the dominican republic man everything changed look from the first time I hit the airport, I saw so many of the most beautiful women. They were smiling. They were pleasant. And I couldn't believe, man, the people were so warm and welcoming. I went on so many wonderful dates. I felt truly alive again. And for the first time, man, in a long time, being a foreigner meant I wasn't locked into the politics uh, back home in the DR. I, was, I could just relax and take it easy and focus on changing my life. And it was like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders. I didn't even worry about money anymore. In the United States, man, you're in a rat race. You got to make money, 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 money. Let me tell you guys something, man. Money, won't, money don't make you happy. Money can make you happy for a little while. You can be content, but it doesn't really make you happy. You know what made me happy, man? Freedom, peace, escaping the plantation. This what made me happy, man. One of the best things about coming to Dominican Republic was I could finally leave 
the victimhood mentality alone. I got to see that people who didn't even have anything was happy with what they had because in the United States, man, they keep you divided politically. They tell you racially, black, white, black. That's all you hear. And of all sides, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. And this stuff becomes a heavy weight, man. And so you walk around and that becomes who you are. So it felt good to take that jack, that lead jacket off and stretch out and do it. And when I tell you the dating, the dating scene, look, I wasn't ready for it. Oh, he was not ready. Man, when I got on those dating sites and getting hit up by hundreds and hundreds of women, each one more beautiful than the next, I, I did not know what to expect, man, because women like that in the United States, they after the people who got millions of dollars, you know what I'm saying? So you come in to the DR, you'll be able to date them. And I'm not talking about, I, we always got to tell you, you got those three types of women I told y'all about. You know, you got the choppies, you got the prostitute type mangoes, and you got regular women. You will meet a lot of regular women. You will meet the other kind too, but I'm telling you, just focus on having a good time and, and doing things and you will see everything will change for you. And another thing I liked it, man, this was a significant benefit was the financial situation. Our money just went a lot further in, in the uh, DR. Man, United States right now, inflation is out of control. The groceries, the housing, everything is crazy. You know, I try to help some of my tenants by not going up on the rent. You know, I go up a little bit, but not a lot. I try to help people, man. But I felt relief myself in the DR. I could live comfortably, but no problem, man. Plus, man, the food was just way more healthier. I felt immediately better. Even dropped a few pounds. I, I enjoyed myself, man. I love just walking on the Melicone and just vibing. And look, this is why my message came like this, man. I know a lot of guys going suffering. That's why you hear me always tell the guys, make it off the couch big Shirley, man. Enjoy yourself. Because I know what you're going through. You're sitting there listening to music. I went through that, man. Sitting in the house drinking Johnny Walker by myself because I, 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 I felt isolated. I'm telling you, man, I was suffering from like PTSD, man, trauma. And coming to Dominican Republic moved that. I'm telling you, getting able to be in the vibe, hearing the music all night. And just being around good women, man, good. Look, you'll be surprised how great it is to have a woman come to you and will cook for you. A lot of men don't have that. And if you have that in the United States, man, salute to you. Let me give you a story time, man. When I was married, my, my, my wife would cook every now and then. She wasn't a cook, but this is the kind of stuff I went through. My wife um, at the time, she, she had called me when I was at work, man. I'm getting it. I had two jobs taking care of her, my kids, doing the thing. Women, women and children first, you know. How we how we raised and look, she told me, well, um, I made some steak, some mashed potatoes and green beans. And you know, all right, all right. She said I made a lot because my mom them coming over. I said, all right, that's that's cool. I said, just put me some up. I come back, I come home from, uh, I come in the house from work. First of all, nobody acknowledges me. None of her family. She had a bunch of sisters. They hated my guts, even though I made their sister very like upper middle class. We had a lot. Um, Man, I look for my food. I said, she put the food up? She said, oh, I forgot. I said, where the food at? She said, oh, the last little bit my brother ate. It. Now I'm the man of the house. This is my house I'm paying for. She don't even work. She wouldn't even save me a plate of food. This is the stuff that I'm talking about that men suffer with, many of us. So I was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I am no longer needed. Like you're hearing now, the women say, if I got to choose between the man and the bear, I choose the bear. And this is why I hate a lot of the simp men in the United States who condone this stuff. They act like we're just imagining it. This is not true. And these dudes pander to women so much. They pander and pander. The woman not going to want you, man, because you're pandering to. I, I keep telling men, they don't want the cheerleader. They want the player. So this is how this stuff goes, man. So. I, I was so glad that I finally found peace, man. I have a woman who cooks for me every single day. No matter how much I tell her, no, I'm going to order something. No, Poppy, let's save this money for this. We need to save this money for that. And many of the women I've met, look, I've met all different kinds. I tell you, I don't deal with the, the mangoes. I don't deal with the one because you don't know when you come there, you're going to deal. It's like anybody who visits the DR and you start dating, you're going to meet different types of women. Some of them will be liars. You're going to think they something when they're not. And some of them will be sweet as I don't know what. So I tell men, 
treat all women like serpents till you know them. Like a serpent, you don't know if it's poisonous, uh, you don't know if it's a constrictor, but treat them all, or it could be harmless. So I treat them all like they're poisonous, and I take my time with them till I get to know them. So, man, this is how the DR changed me, man. My whole philosophy changed on life, man. But I'm telling you, man, read those books. Everything changed. My money went up, and try to live in the middle. That's what I do now. I try to live in the middle between a tourist i go have fun sometime you'll see me in expensive neighborhoods or you'll see me at flip-flops or somewhere walking around but i don't do that every day some days man we just at the house eating man just chilling with the family and once you find a good dominican family to take you in man and show you the game and i have a wonderful dominican family and i've i've had several <laughs> i've had i had some haitian family i had a good haitian family and until I mess that up Sometimes I mess it up man Because at the end I, I am a werewolf man You know Sometimes Sometimes you don't want to change the world, But you in a place man That everybody's beautiful Everybody's like It's just the thing So we we made, made a video uh, We did a live stream And thank you guys for watching the live stream man We did a live stream the other night By bringing women back to the United States This is why you don't want to bring those women Back to the United States On the island Everybody look like them But when you bring her to the United States man Especially you guys live in a little small town down south and stuff. They ain't used to seeing women look like that. Man, that can be a problem, man. So look, man. So shout out to all you brothers that have been watching the channel, man. Just wanted to talk about that a little bit, man. Because I know what you guys are going through. And look, man. Shout out to the Blue Book Passport Cartel, man. If you're not in our travel group, man, join our group. And we also have a private chat I can send to you, man. Keep supporting the membership. Support the videos. And look, last thing. Make sure you hit the bell icon, man. Many of my subscribers, I got over 15,000, only a few are uh, hit the bell icon and they're going to be notified because that's what you want to do. Hit the bell icon because a lot of guys say, hey, man, when you do story time story and I got a lot of story times coming out, um, I'm about to put them back out. Make sure you watch them, man. You got to watch them and, 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 and hit the bell and man, we're going to win, man. So look, man, shout out to all you guys. Much love and respect to you guys, man. Peace. We out.